Hello, what's up guys? Today we're going to be taking, hopefully, a quick look at the OtterBox Defender Series case for the Motorola Droid X. Now, a couple of weeks ago, as you may or may not remember, I got my Droid X in the mail. So far, I have not had any sort of a case on it, no sort of a screen protector, and I'm constantly worried that something's going to happen and my phone's going to get damaged and I'm just going to be up a creek because I don't have any way to protect it. But when I started looking for cases, someone mentioned to me that OtterBox makes some of the best cases available, so I thought I would contact them, see if they'd be willing to send me a unit to review, because I had not seen an actual review of the Droid X OtterBox case, any sort of Droid X OtterBox case. I'd seen reviews of iPhone cases, I'd seen reviews of some other phones, but not this specific one. So I wanted to see what was different about it, I wanted to see how it worked. But anyway, let's go ahead and dive into the packages and let's just see what comes in the box and all of that. Uh, it came completely unwrapped in a USPS box with just a plastic sleeve over it. Uh, basically all I did was pull it out of the box, pull it out of the sleeve, and this is what I got. But before we open the box, let's take a look at the back and see what comes in it. Here we have the English translation. Number one, we get the high impact polycarbonate. Number two, the screen protector. Three, the impact absorbing silicone. And four, the port and button covers. Uh, basically it's going to be a three part coverage and a hip holster and all of that. So when we open it up, we slide out the insides of the box. There we go. That is everything there is to it. It's a little difficult to see because it's all black, but here we go. You see if look at the back, we've got the clip that's actually holding it on the case. Pull that out. And this is pretty much everything there is to it. If we look inside the back of the box, there are some instructions. All right, so this is basically what we've got. We've got the belt holster and the rest of the case. Belt holster itself. You see we've got this swivel clip on the back of it. We swivel it into a certain position. If I remember correctly, if you pop it, there we go. It has a little belt clip where you can pop it out and use it as a kickstand. Kind of useful. And then the rest of the case itself, we have the screen protector and then everything on the outside. So I'm going to take just a couple of seconds, tear this apart, and then try to put it on my device and we will see what happens. Okay, the instructions make a lot more sense now. Basically, you take the silicon outside part off of the existing layout they had. You pull the front and back sections apart. You put the phone in, and then you put it all together. So uh, let's go ahead and try to do that while we're standing here. Phone slides in. Seems to fit pretty nicely. Kind of difficult to see. It's all really dark. But then we clasp the outside on. Make sure it sort of snaps together. All right, and after a little bit of work, I managed to get it together. Just had to snap it in a couple of places, top, bottom, sides, things like that. Now we're going to try to put the silicone cover over it. I've watched a couple of people do this online with other ones, and it seems to be not terribly easy to do, but as you may or may not have been able to see there, slide it in the bottom, sort of make it fit over the top and sides, making sure these little latches go in where they're supposed to, making sure all the ports line up appropriately, and... Almost there, just sealing everything up. Yeah, actually this hasn't been as bad as I expected. I'm never any good at putting screen protectors on anything. But, and I think, yeah, we're almost done. <laughs> just sort of feeling the way around the outside, making sure all the ports are filled in and covered. Making sure all the button things line up. Yep, yep. So yeah, that was pretty quick and painless. The outside silicon shell, uh, definitely not what I'm used to uh, because I've been using the device and it's a rubberized plastic. This is just silicon. However, I do get the distinct impression that it is significantly protected at this point. All right, let's see how this works in the holster. You see it's got these little clips on both sides so it can go either way. If I just slide it in, click, it clips in place, does not come out. It's got this little kickstand so I could set it up like that on a desk you can't really see that angle, but I could be using it that way to uh, to watch movies or whatever. Otherwise, I can just let it out, flip it over, and there we go. We've got it facing out the other way. Have this on the belt and ready to go. Again, very stably in there. If I pull on this, it does come out. Uh, that's basically all there is to say about it. It is a very sturdy case. I'm not going to throw it on the floor or anything, but... I can already tell a difference just in uh, in build quality versus the Droid X alone. And it should be very nice because it does come with this built-in screen protector for keeping the screen fingerprint free. Uh, I have my screen a little bit darkened there. I can probably swipe over there, just show you that the swiping does still work. 
turn on my brightness up to, oh, 50%, 100, yeah, it goes really bright on the Droid X. I had to root it so that I could take the brightness down to next to nothing and back up. So back to the home button. The buttons all seem to work appropriately. Let's just try the camera button. Camera button seems to be working. If I want to, I can take a picture with it. There we go. We're going to delete that picture. Picture of nothing. Okay, home button, back button, uh, search button. Yeah, everything seems to be working appropriately. Uh, as I mentioned before, the lock button does work. Let's try the volume rocker. i uh, got to actually have sound on for that to... There we go, ringer volume going up and going down. It does take a little bit more effort to press those than it did before, but I kind of expected that. Not bad, not bad at all. So, uh, yeah, basically my first impression of the OtterBox case, uh, the Defender case by OtterBox, very, very impressive. Uh, a whole lot more sturdy than any case I've ever owned. Uh, for my iPhone, I used to buy the cheap silicon cases, so this is definitely a huge step up. I don't normally wear belts, but I think I'm going to start so that I can use that carrying case. Uh, otherwise, let me just try this very quickly and see how it works in my pocket. Uh, yes, as expected, it does not fit in my normal pocket. I wear carpenter jeans most of the time, and it does not want to fit in there. Let me try it in my normal pants pocket. Yeah, it does fit in the front pants pocket, so that may be another alternative. Because it is significantly more protected than it has ever been, or that any device I've ever had has ever been, uh, it should be very usable as far as holding it in the front pocket if I'm not wearing a belt. Uh, normally I do avoid putting phones in my pockets because I keep keys there or change or other things like that. But, uh, yeah, this I'm extremely impressed with it. So thank you so much to OtterBox for sending me this. Uh, have you ever used an OtterBox? Have you used any sort of case, maybe something you prefer a little bit more than OtterBox? Let me know in the comment section below. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.